In this video, I'll show you how to connect your Epson EcoTank ET2800 printer to your Windows computer. And afterwards, I'll show you how to print and also how to scan via Wi-Fi. So let's get started right away. On your Epson printer, the first step is to connect the printer to your Wi-Fi network. So how do you do this? First, press the home button just to make sure that you're in the main menu. And then using these arrows, you're going to navigate until you're going to see Wi-Fi setup. Once you see it, press OK. Then you should see Wi-Fi recommended. Press OK again. Press another time OK. And you should see Wi-Fi setup wizard. Perfect. Press OK. And now it will search all the wireless networks that are around you. Select yours using these arrows. Mine is the first one, so I'll press OK. And now it's time to type the password. If your password contains capital letters or numbers, you need to go over here, down there, and press OK. And this way you'll be able to switch this small keyboard to the numbers and uh, symbols. So go ahead and type it. And then once you're done, go down and select OK and press the OK button. Your printer will now connect to your Wi-Fi. It may take a few seconds or maybe even a minute if your wireless router is far away. You just have to wait. Perfect, we have setup complete. Press OK. And now it's time to go on your PC computer. Then on your PC, we need to download a driver so that the printer is recognized by your Windows computer. So uh, I'll put a link in the description on the to go directly on the Epson website so you don't lose any time. Go down on this page where it says download. And then over here, it will ask you for your operating system. Click on this and select the version of your Windows PC. In my case, it's uh, Windows 10. 32 bits so I'll select this but maybe yours is different and then press go uh, press accept if you see this go down okay and now we have uh, over here recommended for you drivers and utility combo package installer go ahead and select the download button here and the driver will be automatically downloaded. Once the download is done, open the file that you just got, press yes, press yes, then press accept. Now here it's up to you if you want to accept these, uh, you're not obligated to accept this, like allow software usage information to be collected for Google anal Analytics. I don't want this, I don't want to give my information for free, although Google probably already has it. So I'll just uncheck this uh, over here too and express product registration as well. I don't want this, so I'll just uncheck them, but if you want to keep them check, it's up to you. Press next. Then check I finish filling uh, the ink tanks. Press next. If you see this screen appearing, go ahead and click update. Select uh, your uh, product over here, ET28200 series, and then press the next button. Then on this screen, make sure on the left side over here that Scanner Utilities has a check mark. Manuals, you're not obligated. I will uncheck it. Epson Photo Plus as well, you're not obligated to use this software, but it helps. Support Utilities, I don't need this. I'll uncheck it. And finally, Epson Connect Software, I would suggest you keep this as well. So once this is done, press Install. On this screen, they will ask you if you want to print a test page. It's up to you. You're not obligated, so we'll just skip it. We'll print our own test page. Then here, it's up to you to leave everything checked. I'll uncheck Remind Me About Epson Extended Service Plan. I don't want any reminder. And press Next. And finally, press the Finish button. Next, you can close your browser. 
Now let me show you how to print. You just have to find the uh, file you want to print on your PC. In my case, it's this PDF over here. So I'll tap on uh, the file that I want to open. This is a PDF, but maybe yours is a JPEG. It doesn't matter. Once the file is open, go ahead and select the print icon. If you don't see a print icon, what you can do on the keyboard is to press Ctrl P and this uh, window will appear. So make sure on the printer that ET2800 series is selected. If not, just go in this list and select your printer. And then you can change the different properties and different settings before printing. So in my case, I'll go in properties and here make sure that the document size uh, is the right one. In my case, yeah, it's eight and a half by 11. Portrait, color, this is up to you really. Um, once it's done, press the OK button. On the printer itself, go ahead and insert some paper. And then all you have to do is to press the print button. We can extend this black piece of plastic here because this is where the paper will go. Here we go. So this is what just got printed. Everything looks great. Everything looks sharp. Now let me show you how to use the scanner of this printer. It's very easy as well. So lift the lid over here. Now there is already a document here. I'll show you how to do. So take your document. The top part of your document should go on the right side of this scan. So go like this, place it uh, facing down. And over here, you may see a small arrow. You just need to glide the paper corner to this, uh, to the corner of this, where the, the arrow is like that. Okay. So once this is done and it looks like this, close the lid on your PC computer, go and tap this windows logo, the start button, then in all the software that uh, were installed on your computer, just a few minutes ago, find Epson software. And then you should see over here, Epson Scan Smart. Tap on it. This is a software that we installed while installing the driver as well. And this is what you'll see over here where it says scanner. Make sure that your printer is selected. In my case, I'll press change. And I'll select Epson ET2800 series. Press OK. And then you're going to press this scan blue button. Wait a few seconds. And then you'll have a preview of the scan. You can do multiple things from here. You can delete the scan in case you're not satisfied the way it looks. You can rotate the scan in case uh, you didn't place the, uh, your document the right way. And you can also prop in case you just want some of the information from the document and not the whole document and not the whole thing. Once you're happy with uh, these settings, you're going to press the next button here and you'll have the choice to save it, to attach it to an email or to print what you just scanned. In my case, I will save it on my computer. This will open. You'll be able to give this scan a brand new name. So let's test Epson scanner. Okay. ET. So this is how the document will be named file type. In my case, this is a um, document with a lot of text and some graphics. So I'll select PDF, but this is up to you. If you're uh, scanning some pictures, select JPEG. And finally, select in which folder do you want this scan to go? In my case, it's desktop. So I'll just leave it like this. But if you're not satisfied with what they show here, press browse and select another folder. Then press the save button. And the scan file will be present to you. So let me open the document. Here we go. And this is what we just scanned. So I hope this video was helpful. If so, please leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.